think like Sun Tzu. Now, how many of you have never heard of Sun Tzu before? Oh, it's quite enough. Right, let me introduce you. Why should you be thinking like Sun Tzu? And of course, firstly, the first reason is that Sun Tzu is Chinese. And of course, he wrote this book, The Art of War, 2,500 years ago. About 2,500 years ago. And yet today, this book is applied by people like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Now, very importantly, of course, is let me introduce you that uh, Sun Tzu is, is Chinese. So therefore, his thinking right. is a Chinese approach to strategy. And of course, the Chinese approach to thinking has, has one trademark. And all it is simpler than the Western and always words. Now let's see, this is a chopstick. Now when the Western take food, when I was doing my law in London as a barrister, the problem I had, as I said, no problem, but taking the dealer's problem. Because the West right, is complex, more complicated. Right? That's why I said, you know, if you dining in the Western world, it is far more arm there. They, they need so many forks, so many spoons, and so many knives. Uh, secondly, the reason why you need to learn things is uh, the second reason is that you need to think clearly because the world is very, very much more very much in the turmoil. Look at Japan, three in one, tsunami, earthquake, nuclear threat. Oh. Thirdly, the real reason why you should be learning to think like Sun Tzu, actually your approach to strategy, is that unconsciously the West is also beginning to think like the Chinese. Now, unconsciously. And there is now emerging what I call a China model. Now, watch this. You remember this event? This happened on October the 6th, 2010, while President Obama was making a speech. Now, what is interesting really is not the event itself, it could well be due to coincidence, but it's the fact that Fox TV make a phrase and say that the mandate from heaven is wrong. Now that is a very Chinese way of looking at such events. And of course, leaders ought to be thinking more like Sun Tzu. Why? Why should leaders begin to think more like Sun Tzu? Because the problem of the world in many ways, as you see, that leaders of the world are no longer penetrate in the heart and souls of the people. There is a divide between the leaders and the people. And therefore, you find that the rise of power, people power, leading to the fall of leadership happening in the Middle East. And what you read out, you read Sun Tzu, you realize very important point you made right from, from the start of chapter one is that right people abide by the Tao and if you do lead the way of people you should be empowered. So leadership in, in very importantly is that you should lead by the way of the people. Now this is one of the cards I created and, and you'll find that later on. I'll explain to that later on. Now of course you find the Bruce Lee now, Bruce Lee, how many of you have heard of Bruce Lee? One or two, a few, right now, okay, it's much easier now. Bruce Lee is very famous for his two finger punch, what he called two finger push up. Right, that was a one inch punch. But very importantly, Bruce Lee actually quoted, and you know, if you know Art of War, if you study Art of War, you know that Bruce Lee actually quoted from the Art of War. And Bruce Lee said, Be water, my friend. And you see that Bruce Lee fights his face flow like water. Now, you also find that the other war is present in Bruce Lee's style of fighting. Watch this carefully. And you find that it's written right in the other war. The other war is, is a text quoted by martial artists that they study the other war in order to be to win competition. Now what is this momentum? Attack by momentum. Momentum, realize momentum, and then you see one, two, three, four. And momentum brought against the earth, brought against an earth, and here you want the battle. Now, very important.
important, of course, is that the principle of, Sun Tzu, of, of strategy by Sun Tzu was written 2,500 years ago. And it can be applied in a modern world in a competitive context. Of course, winning is not so important, ultimately. Survival is. And you find that if you analyze the case of the race to Antarctica, the Scott team that went all the way to the South Pole, losing it, and then on the way back, all of them died. And when I was teaching this course, in fact, the Sun Tzu course I taught in NTU, right, I got my student to analyze these two cases, the race to the South Pole. And find the team that, that didn't follow Sun Tzu out of all died. Now, the team that won the race to the South Pole and the Sun they actually followed the principles of our war. After this, check it out. Don't, don't just take what I say. And you'll find that if you compare the two cases very clearly, the case, the team that died and the team that won, the difference, the explanatory factor could be the art of war. Then, of course, right, now we know, of course, the U.S. is in decline, right? Of course, the U.S. model was the Roman Empire. But, he handed out, uh, I was very famous, right, for, for his death across the Alps. He was working on the principle of surprise in order to win against the Roman Empire. And, Roman Empire wouldn't have existed if Hannibal had that time read and understood the art of war. Right? Why? Because you find that Hannibal is such a good strategist in order to win Hannibal, Scipio learned from Hannibal his strategy and use it against Hannibal. That's the reason why China is now leading the world and overtaking America. One at the top, one at the bottom. First of all, the only way to win America materially is using capitalism, basically. Same strategy. And this comes from what principles of Sun Tzu? Sun Tzu says very important that you should not repeat your strategy so that nobody knows how you win. Infinitely vary by strategies and adapt your tactics to the enemy. So if you repeat your strategy so often, so much so that the Viet Cong could anticipate what the Americans are going to do next, then clearly the enemy will know how to respond. So for those who are in business, sometimes it's good to keep secret your business model. Now, this is what I learned from Roma, from Sun Tzu. And of course, you can ask me, right, so what is so unique about Sun Tzu? The unique of Sun Tzu is that it filter too down time without any approaching it. No publisher from there. It's written at the time it was written, it was not even using brush and paper. It was using bamboo. Now, Bruce Lee, if you study Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee is an icon. Now, one good test of how good and great a person he is is when he's dead and not around anymore. Does his personality still remain? Does he remain still as an inspirator? And I think Bruce Lee did. Now, Bruce Lee has a very important point. No discipline as discipline. Now, those of you who know martial arts will know that Bruce Lee Wing Chun teaching at Wing Chun School. But actually, the, the originator of Bruce Lee tells you that he will incorporate all styles. No discipline as discipline. He would learn fencing. He would learn Taekwondo. He would learn Judo. Jesus so and what he all this into his art of Wing Chun. So his is no style as style. And Jesus would tell you that, right, have no strategy as strategy. So you see in the Nova, when you go to India, they don't have a strategy in China. So no strategy as strategy. And for myself, I'm not doing this soon to learn about how to say that. Right, I'm saying my work is in soon to so yes, there are 90% other areas. But what only I'm doing is part of the ocean. In other words, I'm coming up with that. How did I get an idea? Because, because no port as port. Put the port in the ocean. Port in the ocean. 
But if you think like Sun Tzu, you look for precise informational signals. Now let me relate this to you to a very latest innovation by American. And I'll explain. Anyone? What plane is that? F-22 Raptor. Now the real innovation about this plane is just right at the design to Sun Tzu 2,000 years ago. How? The, the true marvel of Raptor 22 is in the glass cockpit. Now this is the really innovative part. In a glass cockpit, to make it easy for the pilot to fly, right? F-22 is a fighter plane. So you have the enemy, triangles, friends, and circles, so the pilot may respond accordingly. In other words, when you see the signal, the topic signal, triangle, you shoot. You see a circle, that's a friendly plane. They call it that in design of the fighter plane. Now what this soon to say is, it is out of war. Now read it very carefully and slowly. Now Sun Tzu is not a book to be studied like a textbook. You do that you are wrong. It is to be digested, reflected, and then you have to walk that out 10,000 miles applying it in the real world. Sun Tzu says, you see the dust straight up coming from a distance in the chariots. That's no, like the soldiers. That's yeah. so scattered about. The enemy are collecting fire, catchy, and carry. Now, so you find, now Sun Tzu wrote that down as signals, you must develop identification signal. Now, thinking of Sun Tzu will transform you in any competitive situation. What is this? You try to write, this is not my word, my word. Okay, the Chinese were playing golf. Yes, you do the tank dynasty. And other war can be applied to the game of golf. And of course, golf was forgotten in China. Right? During that period, there was real golf. And then you find that an entire book has been written by Madden on golf and the art of war. Right? You find actually people outside China, they are equally frenzied about the art of war. What entire book written? Now this is a very important point. I want you to have a look at this and make a guess what this picture is about. Now you see that this is actually that patch of light are the fingers of a child. This is a pregnant woman. Now, historically in China, to me, the greatest strategy is a woman. Like the first lady emperor of China. And she's a master strategist, especially for the inner palace. Politics, political strategies. So you, so you find that she will make her master moves of time. So this emphasizes a lot on timing. You'll find in business, anything you do, timing is so, so important. Share, yes. profitability, everything you do, timing plays a key role. And you find that, and I, I took some time as modeling for you, but it's how did uh, she prevail during the dynasty. Now, Wu Zetian is her name. Right? She is the first lady emperor during the Tang dynasty. And during her rule, China was one of the greatest nations on earth during that period. And during that period too, there was heavy Confucianism. And Confucianism was anti-women. And yet she rose to be emperor. Not only emperor, I thought of that to be, all right, what do you call the highest level sage emperor. Now what, what you see is that she will make her move in a climb upwards. She will time out of heels when she is pregnant. She's not pregnant, she's a nice, she will take commands from the emperor. But the moment she's pregnant, the emperor will give it to her. Now, just let me explain to you the background. Since so many of you didn't know of art of war, as I anticipated, 
right? Other world, they call it ping pong. It's brief. It's only five characters. According to one Chinese documentary, Sun Tzu took five years to write a book. Five years to write a book. And, and you'll find that although it's just 5,000 Chinese characters, there is nothing in the whole literature of Western philosophy, management strategy, that is similar to Sun Tzu. Now let me explain to you the background to the book. So the idea the context. He was, so the book actually came from the period of the warring states during the spring and autumn period. So it came up all the way. Now, they came from disappeared in China, but other world remained as a key philosophy. And when he wrote the book, book, sorry, when he wrote the book, he actually drew on resources, he cited ideas that were total ideas ago in China. So altogether, right, when it comes to you, as 5,000 words book, it actually contained the wisdom, a long, deep wisdom of Chinese strategic thinking. Right? And of course, the right, historical findings, he wrote them on bamboo. And then you find that right, during the spring and autumn period, that the states in high competition, like now, high competition, he wrote that book during that period, in that context. And I was, and I'm fine, and now he's moving to the to UK. I was invited to go to the British Art of War. And the very glad that I was able to use it to 157 cards. And they actually right, built and, and, and used the cards to try and digest the key concepts of the Art of War. Now, what do you think is one of the reasons for such a rapid rise? of China in business, in economy. I can tell you it's due to the shows of other war veterans. The Chinese know other war hold. They grow up with leave it. Just like they know the kingdom and all that. It's part of the culture. So if you want to compete with the Chinese in their market, you cut to study and understand their war. And where you find fierce competition in other war ways, Spain wins. This is the close as possible picture of the real Sun Tzu. It's taken from a college of fire wood print, and then we've got this picture. And it's a print. Now, he does how he looks. And you find that even in the game of football, people will use the other wall. And the next one will Come and build, and the Brazilian soccer coach actually introduced and made all the players Brazilian team to read the other one. Now, as US decline and China rises, the thinking a bit more is to help you a long way to succeed. Mao Zedong. Now, why do we focus on thinking? Not enough study the tags. You have to play well. I use the word internalization. It's very easy to lecture because it's 5,000 words. But it's very difficult to internalize the thinking. And the more you can do that, you can think like him. He first split it open, he first wrapped it. And was reading the book, and his first comment was that right, he thinks like me. So if you want to, right, there are also these great strategies would enable China to prevail over China eventually founded China in 1949. So if, if you want to see like, the great strategies, right, and not to himself as endorse it. So do you think I can I hope you go back and reflect. Thank you so much. Let's see how creative you guys can get. Give me this small game. I'm going to be giving you a line and you're going to build a story on it. So I'm going to start off with Cynthia. She will point out you and